Hey y'all, it's your girl Oh Honey Rollins and I'm back. I'm back for day two. If you are new to this channel, you have reached me at a very pivotal moment of my life. Why? Because right now, this is the Proverbs 31 Day Challenge. And I encourage you, I welcome you to join it along with me and the others who are resetting, restarting, and refocusing their lives. And we're starting with the fundamentals. We're starting by building um, the foundation, making sure that foundation is very stern. And while we're doing this challenge, okay, while we're doing this challenge, we are keeping these two scriptures in the forefront of our mind. So I encourage you to do so. The first one is Psalms 37, 4. Psalms 37, 4. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you all the desires of your heart. Okay. We are delighting ourselves in the Lord. This is part of the fundamentals of life. Sorry. <laughs> This is part of the fundamentals of life. Now, I'm doing this at the at at nighttime, at the end of my day, unfortunately. But as long as you get it in, it doesn't matter when you do it. The second scripture that we're keeping in the forefront of our mind while we're going through this is going to be James 1, verse 21 and 22, okay? Get rid of all filth and evil in your lives and humbly accept the word God has planted in your heart, for it has the power to save your souls. But don't only, this is my favorite part, but don't just listen to God's word. You must do what it says. Otherwise, you are only fooling yourself. Okay. Now, I know that resonated with somebody the same way it resonated with me. So, I am reading from the New Living Translation, okay? To me, it's very, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? To me, I can understand it. I can comprehend it very well. And it's like speaking directly to me like, girl, get yourself together. So that's what I'm choosing to, that's the translation that I'm choosing to use. So you can use whatever one that you desire. But if you're going to join this challenge, I want you to be consistent. And although I'm only on day two, you can start this anytime that you want. Let today be your first day. Be consistent. Get you a journal. Write down some things that you're battling with, okay? As I'm going through this, we will find that everything will be working out. Everything will be okay. So I want you to do the same. Journal what you've learned, what you've taken in, what insight you got from it. So let's get into chapter two because I don't want this to be crazy. Chapter two in the book of Proverbs is the benefits of wisdom. Now, I did look up wisdom. Let's look at what the definition of wisdom is. So we not we know what wisdom means, but let me just say it out loud because I don't think I ever looked this up before. Wisdom, the quality of having experience, knowledge, and good judgment. The quality of being wise. The soundness of an action or decision with regard to the application of experience, knowledge, and good judgment. A body of knowledge and principles that develops within a specified society or period, okay? That is what wisdom is. Having knowledge, having experience, good judgment, being wise. So keep that in mind, okay? It reads, my child, listen to what I say and treasure my commands. Tune your ears to wisdom and concentrate on understanding. To me, when it says, tune your ears to wisdom and concentrate on understanding. Like, if you don't get it, take the time out to understand. If you don't understand, here it go. Cry out for insight and ask for understanding. Search for them as you would for silver. The same way you chase the money, boom. Seek them like hidden treasures. Then you will understand what it means to fear the Lord and you will gain knowledge of God. For the Lord grants wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He grants a treasure of common sense to the honest. 
He is a shield too wise. He is a shield to those who walk with integrity. He guards the paths of the just and protect those who are faithful to him. Then you will understand what is right, just, and fair, and you will find the right way to go. For wisdom will enter your heart and knowledge will fill you with joy. Then you will understand what is right, just, and fair, and you will find the right way to go. For wisdom will enter your heart and knowledge will fill you with joy. Wise choices will watch over you. Understanding will keep you safe. Wisdom will save you from evil people, from those whose words are twisted. These men turn from the right way to walk down dark paths. They take pleasure in doing wrong and they enjoy the twisted ways of evil. Their actions are crooked and their ways are wrong. Wisdom will save you from the immoral woman, from the seductive words of the promiscuous woman. She has abandoned her husband and ignores the covenant she made before God. And that's not just for men. That's for women in referring to guys too, okay? Use your wisdom. Entering her house leads you to death. It is the road to the grave. The man who visits her is doomed. He will never reach the paths of life. So follow the steps of the good and stay on the path of the righteous. For only the godly will live in the land and those with integrity will remain in it. But the wicked will be removed from the land and the treacherous will be uprooted. Boom. That's chapter two. So take the time. Read through it. Journal about it. And think back. Think back on some ways. Like Because when I read this, I'm just going to insert. I'm not going to do my whole thing, but I'm just going to insert this here. But when I read where it says wisdom will save i mean let me go back up it says then you will understand what is right just and fair and you will find the right way to go for wisdom will enter your heart and knowledge will fear you fill you with joy and to me i just think back on times where you know how you was somewhere and you know like you didn't like you just maybe you was hanging out with your friends or whatever and something just told you, you got that hunch, you got that, your spirit, that's really your spirit. You felt it in your heart, like, I need to get up out of here. Because you seen some stuff and, like, you don't know what was happening. You didn't know what was going to happen. But you was like, okay, I'm out. Like, that's what that reminds me of. And I have, some people just disregard that. Because what they see is, like, what I'm seeing in front of me is nothing maybe i'm tripping people be like maybe i'm tripping what you seeing in front of you is nothing but what's really happening is your heart your spirit is saying move and some people disregard it some people don't do it and to me a wise person you have to listen to yourself your instinct is telling you it's time for you to get up out of here move around okay and that's what i see when i when i just read that but i want you to spend some time with this chapter two okay and uh, we'll get on. I'm going to do chapter three tomorrow. So I'll catch y'all with that. Adios.